got to the uh, Metropolitano Stadium now in Atletico Madrid, a plus 200 at home to Inter, who are plus 150. Uh, 1-0 victors for the uh, visitors in the first leg. I think that's going to be good enough. I think they could even go here and win again because Atletico don't keep clean sheets like the old Atletico because he's let the hand break off the front four, front five. Atletico are so, so good at passing and moving. But Inter, I've got as top two, top three sides in the whole of Europe. The draw, which again suits the visitors, is at plus two, one, five. Uh, Mina, take it away with the Italians. I, again, I don't think they get beat. And my plus 2,500 future ticket says, I hope that they progress. Yeah, it's, it's very likely that Inter will. I mean, considering Atletico Madrid's recent form at the moment, they've really struggled to score. It's You could really feel the absence of Griezmann, but he should be back for this match. So he's always a player to look out for because probably he's been the best to watch in uh, in La Liga all season. Um, Morata, you felt when he came on in the first leg, so the game seemed to be all Inter. But when Morata came in, I do feel like there was a, a shift in the way that Atletico started to play. But this is a problem, is that he's not somebody who takes all his chances. So right now, Atletico Madrid don't look like an efficient team going forward. You expect that being in the Wanda Metropolitano, that this is their home advantage. They've been a battleship at home, in all honesty, so so different to the way that they have performed away from home. And they know how to really get the, the team on side and play their kind of game, which does involve a little bit of the dark hearts, but it will they will hope to create the atmosphere that could intimidate Inter. Their only problem with all of this, obviously, is that Inter right now is probably one of the best teams in um, in Europe right now. I can't, I'm not entirely sure. I think they're better than Real Madrid with the performances that they've been managing this season, including that win against Bologna. Even when they change players, even when they don't have the likes of Chanaloglu or Di Marco available to them, they've just been wonderful to watch, even without Martinez. Um, unfortunately for them, they lost Arnautovic, who did score the only goal um, of the match between these two sides. They've lost him now to an injury for a month, but he's not really an important player, right? They've got Martinez, they've got Turam. Um, they've got a terrific back line. They do not concede goals at all. <laughs> it's a, it's astonishing to, to watch how good they are defensively, how good they are at using their centre-backs, whether it's Bissette coming on and scoring a goal for them. They know how to score goals from all different places and they know how to control the midfield. In all honesty, they should have won about 3-4-0 in the reverse fixture. It's amazing that they only managed to get the 1-0. I don't think they did enough, in, especially not in targeting the lights at Witzel. Um, actually, if anything, Witzel looked like a, a gr the best player on the pitch. Um, but how bad is that? That was something that annoyed me to watch because when you are playing at home, you are supposed to show off how good you are. But this is the thing with Inter. How many times have we watched them this season in the Champions League and thought, chances squandered? So many chances squandered against Benfica, against Real Sociedad. I mean, they finished second in the group because of how many chances that they've squandered. So this is the thing. It's This is the thing that worries me about them, is that they create so many great opportunities in the Champions League. They don't take them all. Um, in the league, they're a lot better in being that bit more efficient. Uh, so I'm interested to see how many goals that they can rack up in that kind of atmosphere in the Metropolitano. But considering the way that Atletico is playing at the moment and the fact that Griezmann should be back, but we don't know if he is definitely going to be playing from the start, it worries me for them. I think there's a gulf of difference right now between these two sides. Atletico Madrid is always one of the most difficult teams to play against, but I do think that Inter just has the, the better quality at the moment. So I'm... I'm I want to go with Inter, to be honest with you. I don't I don't really see Atletico winning this at all. The way I think the game pans out, I think Inter could be up at half time. One nil. That means that obviously uh, Atletico have got to come at the game marker here and leave gaps. Um it, I think the draw though, obviously at two one five, is at two one five for a reason, because a draw will suit as, as Mina says, I've got them on a par with Real Madrid as well. And if you ask me, I, I would think that if they get through this, their their odds are going to maybe more than half. Yeah, so I like <laughs> Inter, just, just like you guys. They're obviously the stronger of the two sides on paper. And if this game was played at a neutral venue, they'd be firm, firm favourites. So I was very impressed with their efforts in the first leg too. So don't disagree with any of that. Um, rate them highly. However, I just have an issue um, as a punter trying to 
see a team who have won the first leg who don't necessarily need to win the second leg being priced up as favourites away in a tricky, tricky enough assignment as, as this is. Now, it'd be wrong to say Inter are going to Madrid to try and play for a draw to, to progress. They'll go there with, with their mindset of, of winning the match and uh, winning the tie. Um, you know, that, that's, that's a given, really. But um, the fact that they don't need to win and they're plus 150 favourites... I do take issue with that. Um, I wouldn't be backing them at plus 115. I, I don't want to have any sort of pro into bets based on the fact that they don't need to win this game. So why do I want to back a team who don't need to win? Um, that kind of puts me off massively. And whilst Atletico's recent form has been poor, I think, you know, similarly to, to Porto in the first leg against Arsenal, it, it, we can sometimes dismiss sides just because they're in a poor vein of form. But on Champions League nights, when everything's on the line, uh, a big atmosphere in, in the stadium, things can happen in your favour. And I think whilst Atletico failed to you know, have, even have a shot on target at San Siro, their away record has been absolutely abysmal all season, home and um, you know domestically and in Europe. But at the Metropolitano, they are incredibly good. Um, go back to January 2023. They've lost one home game across all competitions, which was against Athletic in the Copa del Rey semi-final first leg. They've re- returned 27 wins, three draws and one defeat. They're the only side to beat Real Madrid this season. So they command huge respect for me when they play at Metropolitano. And I think for that reason uh, and the fact that they do need a result here, they're hugely motivated to try and get something. I don't necessarily say they're going to go and win this match, but I'm quite happy to kind of have them on side in the double chance market and partner it alongside under three and a half goals just because I cannot see this match escalating into a a high scoring shootout I think it could be a continuation of of what we saw at San Siro really Uh, you know things massively in the balance for for a good hour or so and uh, Betty will chuck the kitchen sink at it for the last half hour really I think they'd be foolish to kind of go out for the first whistle and try and attack into and leave themselves open so I looked at what Inter did last season Uh, they beat Porto 1-0 at home in the first leg played out a 0-0 in the second fixture and the Benfica game was a little bit different because they led 2-0 from the first leg. So the dynamics were a bit different there. But the Milan match, um, uh, they beat, beat them 2-0, played out a 1-0 in the second leg. So, you know, none of these matches have really kind of escalated in de- into the high scoring shootouts. And I don't think this one will either. Um, but after I kind of put my official bet into the system for this game, which was Atletico Madrid double chance and under three and a half goals um, at plus 100, uh, an alternative has, has cropped up on the prop builder, which really does appeal to me, actually. Uh, okay. Under three and a half goals, keeping that, but uh, over 4.5 cards. And you partner the two together and you get plus 110, which I oh, think oh. is an incredibly good price. Because yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is going to be dirty. This is going to be fierce. Uh, yes. There's going to be a lot of housery on show here from both sides. We had six cards in the first leg. And uh, the referee is Simon Marciniak, the Polish guy, very experienced, but he does like to unload the cards when necessary. He's had three Champions League games this season. He's given 19 cards. Uh, and last season, he gave at least four cards and six of eight Champions League ties as well. So, you know, I think there was six in the reverse game, a 4-2 split. Um, wouldn't be too surprised to see something similar hit this time around. So all over cards, uh, I think it could really escalate into something quite brutal. Uh, and we'd be happy to oppose a high goal line too. I expect this to be really tight, like a nil-nil for like an hour, uh, because the under two and a half goals at minus one twenty-six is really like pushing us towards the under two and a quarter. Um, I just see into just really locking down on every individual matcher and not giving Atletico a chance to to pass, move, and and open them up. I think they'll stay very compact, uh, and then they've got obviously two Rams fit. He's going to uh, he's going to have the stretch on the uh, Atletico Madrid um, defence because they've not been very good at tracking because they can't run in straight lines. So for me, I think Inter may well hold the key here and that's why they're plus 150 favourites, even though they already have the lead in the game. And I think they're uh, the better side as well. We're really looking forward to this. As you know, I'm on Inter plus 2,500 to get to the final and we've just got to get through this and stay away from Man City. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks, please. Inter minus 0.25 at plus 110. For me, Inter draw no bet at uh, minus 130. Probably will have a little look at the uh, nil nil 1 1 sort of combination. Atletico double chance and under three and a half at minus 108. But one that really appeals to Marco here is still under three and a half goals, but over 
four and a half cards at plus 110. What are you saying, Mina? I would also go for that. It's brilliant. I bet you would. I bet you would. It's only just popped up, so it's no, it's no slight on your uh, your knowledge or your homework. It has only just popped up, and that's the beauty of joining us live. But maybe in an hour or two's time, that will be minus 105. Let's move.